to 9 and 11. You might call them marijuana moms. I feel it's a natural pain reliever. Delivering a message they hope everyone hears. Cannabis makes me a better mom. But what's the risk to their family? To 9 and 11. Next at 11, why an actor and model had to be detained by fellow passengers on a flight to John Wayne Airport. And a cannabis crusade by local mothers, why they say smoking pot makes them better moms. CBS 2 News at 11 is 60 seconds away. Well, some moms go the traditional route to cure what ails them, but others are using something much different, something much more taboo, and they say it actually makes them better moms. It helps many others eat what they need to, yeah. January Thomas from Koreatown is mom to 16-month-old Zena. <laughs> but she's no ordinary mom. She medicates three to four times a day with marijuana, also known medically as cannabis. That I have um, early onset arthritis, and I'm going to have to have wrist surgery soon. For me, I'm a medical cannabis patient, so I prefer cannabis over Vicodin or Percocet or Tylenol 3 over, you know, it's a, I feel it's a natural pain reliever, and I feel better using it. I feel it's safer on my body. Marijuana, said Dr. Eden, is used for many reasons. Like many plants, it can be a medicine or a drug. January and her fiancé are marijuana activists and believe that education begins at home. We talk about the plant cannabis. We have a book, it's called It's Just a Plant, and it teaches her how it's medicine. Um, but I don't smoke around my daughter indoors because secondhand smoke is bad. January thinks it's a misconception that good moms don't use marijuana and that those who do are irresponsible. Moms that utilize cannabis hold jobs, office jobs, you know, do the PTA. She says she doesn't smoke joints or use marijuana vaporizers in front of the baby, but she will eat marijuana infused foods, like this macaroni and cheese with cannabis oil. January. And January's not alone. People call me the Martha Stewart of marijuana. I was one of the founding members of the National Cannabis Industry Association. Cheryl Schumann has been medicating with cannabis since 1996, when medical marijuana first became legal in California. Over the years, she's relied on it to fight her cancer, chronic pain, and asthma. And so I started using it, and literally, I went from uh, being prescribed 27 different pharmaceuticals to one little plant. She's very involved in the $1.7 billion cannabis industry and educates other medical marijuana patients on the laws and different products available to them, like these vaporizers called Canasix. The company provides them to her for free in exchange for promoting them. You've got your um, atomizer together here, the medication is in here, and you just screw it in. And ta-da! You're ready. Cheryl says one 30-second inhale from a can of cig is the equivalent to smoking a joint, and there's no secondhand smoke or odor. If you have someone that can't smoke, doesn't have a vaporizer, or uh, specifically a lot of cancer patients, they literally will choose to use the cannabis in their meal. I think I'm going to try the scallops. Thank you. On this night, these Southland moms all met Chef Fred, who prepared seared scallops, pasta, chicken and strawberry shortcake all infused with cannabis oils containing THC extracted from the marijuana plant so anything that you can make with oil or butter that can be mashed potatoes that can be chocolates that can be cakes cookies I have never seen a four course meal made with cannabis tinctures and oils so if you can eat marijuana vaporize with it and smoke it how do you know when you've had too much? My doctor regulates it. I know what a typical dosage is for me. So it's a very controlled thing, and I feel fine as a mom. But not everyone thinks what these moms are doing is a good idea. The problem is it's not FDA approved. Dr. Charles Sophie is the medical director at the Los Angeles County Department of Children and Family Services. He says there are unknown risks for these marijuana moms. When it is a part of your day and it's what your day depends on to get through your day or you're eating it or you're baking it or you're doing something to maintain your day that's where it becomes an issue and does it cross over that line of use or abuse or recreational use and are are you entering into a place where it's a safety or risk issue for your family or your child
But for these women, they say they stay within the laws and talk to their doctors, and each hopes people will think carefully before judging them. My hope is that they can look at me and say, oh yeah, I, I can relate to that woman, and maybe I should give it a second look, and she's certainly not one of those drugging people in the alleyway. Well, certainly a controversial topic. We wanted to know just how January plans to deal with the issue of medical marijuana when her daughter gets older. Well, she says she'd prefer her daughter not use marijuana until she's an adult and her brain is fully developed and only if it's being used legally. Tonight at 11, you might call them marijuana moms. I feel it's a natural pain reliever. Delivering a message they hope everyone hears. Canvas makes me a better mom. But what's the risk to their family? Tonight at 11 on CBS 2 News.